Shopify subscriptions tutorial for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with setting up subscriptions on your Shopify store. Now, Shopify is a great e-commerce tool to use, but a lot of people do not realize the full capabilities of Shopify. Shopify actually does allow you to sell subscriptions and you don't need to do any fancy decoding for this. You don't need to do anything too complicated. You can do it in a few simple and easy steps by using default apps. So let's get started. To get started with setting up subscriptions on our Shopify store, we are going to go on ahead and click on apps on the left. Then you're going to click on all recommended apps and then scroll to the bottom and then click on Shopify app store. Once we do that, we are going to search for subscriptions and you might say, hey, I have my product and they're selling pretty decently. So why should I be selling subscriptions for my products? Well, subscriptions are where you can make a lot of recurring revenue. For example, if I'm selling something that's edible or that's going to run out in a certain amount of time, like skincare products, because I know that skincare is going to be used every day, which means that people are going to need a refill of their favorite sunscreen or of their favorite lip product. And I can offer them a subscription where after every one month, the product will be sent to them again and they can subscribe to my product. The product by default would be sent to them again and again. And what this is going to allow me to do is that I am going to have that really nice revenue channel built up for me, which I can use at any time. So that revenue is just going to help me in building a really stable income for my business. So I am going to go into subscriptions and you will see within the Shopify app store, you have multiple different subscription tools. Some are rated better than Shopify's own subscription tool, but this particular one is the one I like because it has been developed by Shopify. It's simple to use and it's completely free. So you don't have to pay any extra money to sell subscriptions. You don't have to subscribe to a brand new application. Instead, all of it is already present within Shopify. So that's what I personally prefer. You can go with something else if you want to do that. But I'm going to click on install over here to install this application. And once we've done that, we can move on to our next step. So we're going to go on ahead and we're just going to proceed with setting up this application. I'm just going to pin this to my navigation for easier access. Now, once I have pinned this to my navigation, we are going to go on ahead and get started with creating our first subscription plan. We can click on create plan over here. And once we do that, we're going to choose the title and the product that this subscription applies to. If you haven't added the subscription product, so let's say if you have a skincare product, if you have a service that people can subscribe to, you can add those over here. Let's say I want to browse and I want a, okay, eyeshadow palettes. It's not going to make a lot of sense for eyeshadow palettes to have subscriptions. I'm going to go into product and I'm actually going to build a subscription for a sunscreen. And I'm going to show you guys this in action because this is something that I have seen a lot of businesses doing and it works really well because people do need refills. And if something is good, people are going to choose to buy it. So we have this little sunscreen and we have spend and save over here. And if we purchase the subscription model of this, um, we're able to get a lower price, like a 10% or like a 5% discount. So I'm going to be adding my own product. Let's say this is going to be our all over sunscreen and I'm just going to add a price and then I'm just going to save this. I'm not going to add too much information. And now I'm going to go into subscriptions to add the rest of our subscription information. So I'm going to click on create plan to start building our subscription plan. This is going to be our get or sunscreen refill sunscreen refill plan and the, i can also write a internal description this is going to be for our reference so a refill of sunscreen every month then i'm going to go into search products and i'm going to select my sunscreen from here then below that we have discounts and delivery 
so we can offer a discount or if we want we can just not offer a discount at all the no discount offer is not going to be very enticing because customers will say hey why should i subscribe to their product when i can just purchase them whenever i need them so for that purpose personally i do not like to just go with the no discount one I like to go for offer a discount and I like to offer a percentage amount or fixed price. I like to offer a percentage off. Now I'm going to change this to delivery frequency is going to be once a month and the percentage off is going to be 10%. Once I do that, we can also add another delivery frequency. Let's say if someone uses their, uh, uses their sunscreen very quickly, after every two weeks, they can get their refill and this would be a 15% discount. So let's say this is going to be bi-weekly or monthly sunscreen subscription. And then I'm going to click on save. Once I have done that, we can proceed on to our next step. So I'm going to go back into my subscription section and we have our first plan added. The pricing is going to be between 10 to 15% off. Then below that, we will have any of our contracts, which basically means the people that have subscribed to this particular subscription. Then you have your settings. So in your settings, you have your number of retry attempts, days between payment retries. Cancel subscription and send a notification when all retry attempts have been failed. This basically means that whenever someone subscribes to the product, they will have to put in their payment information. Now, the next month when they are charged for that product, if the payment fails, we have three retry attempts. If we are not able to capture the payment after three retry attempts, then we cancel their product subscription. And we have the days between payment retry attempts. Below that, we have not enough inventory. So we have five and the days to wait. Then we have skip subscription and send a notification. We're going to pause their subscription and send them a notification. Below that, we have our subscription widget. So to ensure that our subscriptions are actually available on our store, I'm going to show you guys how to add this widget. Then you have your subscription management URL. So you can add the URL where you'd like customers to give an entry point to your subscription plans and you have notifications. So this is our URL over here and we can copy this and we can install a separate page in our Shopify store. Now I'm going to go in into our online store and then click on customize to actually enable the widget that we have. So we're going to go into app embeds, click on subscription widget and then just turn this on then you're going to click on save once you do that you can go into products and then default product and we're going to scroll down click on add section click on apps click on the subscription widget and then i can move this wherever i want to place this so i'm going to place this at the bottom but i'm going to remove or move the related product section below so all over sunscreen then we have our purchase options which is a one-time purchase sunscreen refill plan and then the two options and then just click on save and once you click on save your widget has been added you can click on this widget to alter the title the body the colors dividers borders as well so i'm going to just add a corner radius we're going to go with supporting texts we have our subscription policies and we can replace the template for this as well once we do that we're just going to click on save and just like that subscriptions are now available on our shopify store i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did find this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions or queries, you guys can leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.